My wife has been putting glue all over my rifle collection. She's denying it, but I'm sticking to my guns. Today, I'm going to recap a 2023 action thriller film called Heart of Stone. In the heart of the Italian Alps, MI6 had the mission of capturing Mulvaney, Europe's most notorious arms dealer. While MI6 agents Young and Parker went in for the apprehension, Rachel Stone remained in the van alongside Bailey, attempting to hack the security's encryption key. However, her effort was thwarted when she couldn't remotely access the system due to its local-only connectivity. The solution accessed someone already on the network, specifically the head of security. This marked a debut of sorts. For the first time since joining MI6, Rachel was compelled to venture into the field. She needed proximity, a mere 10 feet to the security chief to breach his phone. She ingeniously chose the casino, engaging in blackjack, knowing the head of security would be drawn to the table. When her colleagues sensed danger and advised her to retreat, Rachel resisted, confessing to the security head her unfamiliarity with the game. Taking the bait, he remained close, allowing Rachel to execute her hack. Meanwhile, the scene escalated when Yang, armed with a diminutive syringe meant for Mulvaney, was intercepted before she could administer it. What was intended as a covert operation transformed into an overt confrontation, culminating in Mulvaney's flight. Parker, however, managed to apprehend him. As they were preparing to escape via a cable car, a jarring static invaded their communications, followed by a mysterious woman's voice. Rachel's gaze was fixed on a woman, Kia, at the bar. The realization struck, it was Kia who had infiltrated their communications. With the situation growing more dire, as more of Mulvaney's associates approached the cable car station, a rapid departure was paramount. Rachel feigned an injury in the snow, urging Yang to proceed without her. Once alone, Rachel swiftly contacted Jack from the charter group. Utilizing an advanced contact lens, Rachel discerned her path to the cable car. She daringly slid down snowy slopes, swiped a parachute for a grand leap, and upon landing, commandeered a bike from a passerby, making her way to the station. As Bailey and Yang emerged behind Rachel, she swiftly veered right to evade them. In a surprise turn, one of Mulvaney's associates aimed a sniper rifle at Parker. In a desperate bid to thwart the sniper, Rachel sent her bike hurtling in his direction. Taking cover behind a vehicle, she neutralized all of Mulvaney's crew. Once the threat was neutralized, Jack urgently advised Rachel to conceal the evidence before her MI6 comrade spotted her. Arriving at the scene, Bailey and Yang were puzzled. They saw Mulvaney's vehicle, but his crew was nowhere to be found. The cable car halted, revealing Parker escorting an unconscious Mulvaney. As Bailey rushed to assist, a grim realization dawned. Mulvaney had succumbed after ingesting cyanide. The MI-16 was crestfallen. They'd lost a valuable informant. Regardless, they surmised that Rachel, presumed injured, awaited them higher up the mountainside. Back in London, the MI-6 agency faced stern reprimands for the mission's failures. Rachel, in particular, was criticized for abandoning her post. The team congregated at a local diner, ruminating over the mysterious girl who had derailed their mission. They speculated she belonged to the Charter, a clandestine organization of elite agents dedicated to global peace. Rachel recognized the girl, but chose silence to protect her own identity. Later, alone at home, Rachel reviewed footage from the bar where she'd spotted Kia. Parker subsequently approached her during a swim session, extending an invitation to collaborate on identifying the mysterious girl. Rachel gracefully declined, alluding to prior brunch plans. Shortly after, she ran Desvoud with her charter colleagues at their headquarters. Evo, a charter member, welcomed Rachel, referred to by her codename Nine of Hearts, and directed her to Nomad. Utilizing their state-of-the-art tool, the Heart, they pinpointed Kia, the MI6 mission disruptor. With a 96% accuracy prediction, the Heart foretold Kia's next move. Lisbon's club more its opening. Nomad detailed plans to feed MI6 this intel, enabling them to apprehend Kia. However, Rachel voiced unease about the mission's specifics, which Nomad and Jack dismissed, putting utmost faith in the Heart's near impeccable logic. Before parting, Nomad issued a cautionary note to Rachel, 
affiliations, regardless of nature, with MI6 were taboo within the Charter. The rationale? The Charter operated in shadows, stepping in when governments faltered. Any personal entanglements could risk the organization's exposure, jeopardizing their global peacekeeping mission. Rachel firmly conveyed to Nomad that her budding camaraderie with MI6 agents was merely a facet of her deep cover and that she was maintaining her operative integrity. Upon returning home, she harnessed her hacking prowess to initiate communication with Kia, posing a direct question to her motives. However, Kia responded ambiguously. The subsequent day, the MI6 contingent journeyed to Lisbon, establishing themselves in a clandestine residence. Engrossed in revelry and dancing, they were startled when a sudden flashbang grenade detonated, incapacitating Parker due to proximity. This was swiftly followed by an intrusion of six adversaries. Bailey and Jan valiantly contended with the assailants, urging Rachel to flee to safety. Nonetheless, Rachel, guided by her sense of duty, returned to the fray, adeptly neutralizing the attackers, much to the astonishment of Yang and Bailey. The MI6 ensemble hastily retreated in a van, with Rachel expertly evading pursuing vehicles, causing several to collide. As they sought refuge, MI6 members demanded clarity on Rachel's real identity. She candidly disclosed her affiliation with the Charter, astonishing Yang and Bailey. In a dramatic twist, Parker revealing long-standing allegiance to Kia spanning six years, betrayed and eliminated both Yang and Bailey. He confessed his years-long quest for the Charter and, during Mulvaney's captivity, extracted information about the Heart, a formidable tool bestowing immense power upon the Charter. Mulvaney elucidated that this unparalleled device could tap into an incomprehensible volume of global data, rendering it capable of virtually foreseeing the future. Its possession, in essence, was tantamount to world dominance. Only a Charter insider, Mulvaney revealed, was privy to its location. Subsequent events saw Parker incapacitating Rachel, who experienced disoriented consciousness till she found herself in the Charter's medical facility. Concurrently, Jack was gripped by alarm due to a security breach. Rachel, despite her debilitated condition, removed a tracking device implanted by Parker from her shoulder. Reconvening in the headquarters control center, amidst intense discussions with Nomad and Jack, Rachel proposed temporarily disabling the heart as a precaution against Kia and Parker's anticipated maneuvers. Her proposal, however, faced opposition from Nomad and Jack, who viewed the heart as their only hope in countering this predicament. Nomad later took Rachel aside, admonishing her for her impulsive revelations, which she believed led to Yang and Bailey's tragic end. This conversation highlighted that Rachel's integrity had been severely compromised. Nomad, prioritizing the security of the heart, chose to remove Rachel from the team. A dejected Rachel departed from the heart team's headquarters. On her bus journey, she received an unexpected call from Kia, taunting her about her dismissal from the charter. Kia's amusement turned to shock when Rachel disclosed Parker's role in Yang and Bailey's demise. Nomad, known as the King of Hearts, convened with another king to deliberate on Parker's past. They recalled an ill-fated mission in Chechnya on December 15, 2015. Parker's entire team, save for him, met a tragic end. The other kings, mistakenly presuming the entire squad was wiped out, chose to detonate the weaponry they were safeguarding. Parker, however, survived the explosion, fostering a deep resentment towards the Charter, believing he had been forsaken. Parker, alongside Kia, later infiltrated the locker at its pinnacle to seize the heart. Rachel, displaying immense determination, confronted them there. A skirmish ensued between Rachel and Parker, while Kia concentrated on procuring the heart. Successful in her mission, Kia, accompanied by Parker, hastily retreated, setting explosives in the locker in their wake. As they ascended via a helicopter, a resilient Rachel managed to apprehend Kia. The subsequent explosion dislodged both, resulting in a mid-air tussle before Rachel deployed Kia's parachute, ensuring their survival. Marooned in a desert, the duo trekked together. Rachel discovered Kia's motivation was to gather evidence against Tarch, who had malevolently experimented on her parents until their untimely deaths. Disguising this heinous act, Karch later adopted Kia, 
a facade that failed to cleanse his sin. As their journey continued, they were intercepted by a seemingly harmless woman. Rachel's initial relief transformed into dread when they were led straight into the hands of Parker's armed mercenaries. In a bid for safety, Rachel plunged into water to evade their gunfire, inadvertently leaving Kia vulnerable. To Kia's astonishment, one of her presumed allies cold-bloodedly terminated an innocent bystander. Rachel, recuperating on a shore, was greeted by Six of Hearts, dispatched by Nomad to retrieve her. They ventured to Iceland, where Parker and Kia, utilizing the Hearts' capabilities, uncovered evidence of Charchi's experiments. Live camera surveillance exposed the Charter's King of Diamonds in an elevator with her family. Parker coldly instructed a woman to plunge the elevator, intending to annihilate the King of Diamonds and her kin. Kia, who initially sought the heart for justice rather than malevolent intentions, looked on aghast as the King of Diamonds and numerous unsuspecting civilians perished. Soon after, Parker pinpointed the King of Club's trajectory towards them and uncovered the bunker's location, where Nomad and her squad were ensconced. In a sinister move, Parker aimed to ensnare and obliterate the King of Clubs and his crew. With the King of Hearts and her unit confined in the bunker and the air circulation system deactivated, the entrapment would soon become their tomb due to oxygen depletion. Kia challenged Parker's lethal resolve, but he was unwavering in his vendetta against the Charter members. His ambition extended to wielding the heart to dominate the globe, arguing that such power was safer in their hands than with the Charter. As the King of Clubs and his unit approached the facility under the presumption that Parker and his team were inside, Kia spotted a diversion opportunity. Seizing the moment, she uploaded a fail-safe to deactivate the heart and communicated Parker's plot to Rachel. Subsequently, she dispatched her location to Rachel. Tragically, the King of Clubs and his unit succumbed to a devastating explosion in the facility. With the heart's function suspended, Parker, in pursuit of Kia, who could restore it, took her captive. Rachel reached out to Nomad, who grimly noted their dwindling oxygen supply. Racing against the clock, Rachel hastened to Kia's relayed location, confronting Parker, who was using Kia as leverage. A tense altercation ensued between Rachel and Parker. Spying an opportunity when Kia rested Parker's discarded firearm, Rachel shattered a glass barrier. This led to a confrontation resulting in Parker's demise courtesy of the retrieved gun. Sadly, this victory was marred by the dire straits Nomad and his team found themselves in, nearing unconsciousness due to asphyxiation. Frantically, Kia and Rachel utilized the heart to rescue the beleaguered team. After agonizing moments of anticipation, Nomad and the team were revived. A month later, the Charter resumed operations. Kia faced legal consequences for her actions, but was eventually released. Rachel, reminiscing about lost comrades Bailey and Yong, extended an olive branch to Kia. Presenting a Joker card, she enticed Kia to be part of a revitalized charter team. Alongside Jack, they embarked on a new mission. Contrary to her previous MI6 role, where Rachel predominantly operated from the safety of a van, she now spearheaded field operations while Jack and Kia provided support from the van. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.